One, two, three. Let's go. Hello, today we're going to talk about the names wall and what we do for the name wall is we put up names. Usually what, like when I did it, it was what names I would like to be called. Most of them were Albert though. <laughs> that was the last name that ran out. That was, a lot, that was the only name that came out. And dad picked some, he may did too since I wasn't really talkative. I don't know that I picked any names. I think it was mostly you, right? So what we did with the name wall was we'd pick a name or I pick a name. Of course, we write them all down. Yeah, we cards. write them down cards, tape them to the wall. And over a course of a, I want to say week, weeks or days, I, I grabbed a name I didn't want, put it down until, you know, the last name I wanted was there. And that ended up being Robert, pretty much keeping everything just changed with my last name. <laughs> it's a way for a for kids to pick it so you know they get to have a nice decision too and you know they get to see names and be like "Ooh, do i want this name so you know you get to ask me visualize it and what we decided to do with the first kid we're likely adopting who just did the name wall we're calling him by the name he may wants to be called by. Just see if he, you know, likes it. And for me, I'm accidentally calling him his original name, what, you know, his real name, what we first called him, not the one he picked from the name on, because I'm so used to it now. And I don't, and he's gonna get to a lot, I've noticed. You know, it's kind of nice to do the name wall, and I think it's a good idea, in my opinion. Is it better than your parent just choosing the name for you? Is it better than your parents just choose a name for you? Yes, definitely. Because, I mean, I want to go by Voltron, so it's kind of nice my dad didn't allow that. And I'm kind of happy because I don't imagine myself being like someone saying, So, what's your name? Voltron. I just can't see that happening. Yes, parents do have veto powers. But don't have veto, like, random names. Like, if they're, like, just a, like, weirdest name of Earth, like, Voltron. Something that, you know, you wouldn't really want to be called by. Veto it, but like if it's like John or something like that, keep those names in. Like, and you know, sometimes the kid maybe really wants a name, but if it's not like too crazy, maybe that's okay. Cause you know, it's nice to have a weird ish name, like you can say, cause you know, it's kind of unique then. But you know, Voltron is just not a good name <laughs> for anyone. Yeah, I don't like it now. But dads do def parents, dads do definitely have veto powers. Like, they have the power to veto name. And if there's other kids at the house, definitely try to keep them from, like, kind of, like, laying on the kid to, you know, pick, like, to pick this name instead of this name. Because it's a decision a kid has to deal with pretty much for their whole life. I mean, yeah, they could change it later in life. You know, let the kid pick. And it isn't bad if the kid keeps their original name and just changed their last. We did that, and I kept my original. Do you... You have any regrets? Do you wish you had changed your first name to something else? Like keeping it? No. I enjoy the name Robert. I just can't. Like looking back for all these years, like right after I changed my name, I guess you might say I'm going by Voltron or like Jim or anything. Not even Bob. Like I go by Bob at school maybe sometimes. But you know, I don't, I keep to Robert often because it's just who I am. Like it kind of matches my personalities. Thank you and goodbye.